two cups of extra sharp white cheddar. One cup of Asiago. One cup Monterey Jack. One cup Munster. One cup of Gruyere. How many cheeses do you have in here now? Let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, and if you count Velveeta, six. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. It gets crazier. Four cups of sharp cheddar. Oh yellow. my. All right, we are not done yet. One and a half cups of mozzarella. Some Velveeta original. Uh, one cup of this also. And there's the mozzarella. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is cheesy. This is the most cheese I have ever seen in one pan. And that's saying something. Okay. Me too. So now we're, this is two sticks, a half a pound of butter melted. Wow. And we are going to just pour this. This is so cheesy. <laughs> Cheese and butter. You know we're talking about Southern comfort food right now. This looks amazing. This does look amazing. I can totally understand why, uh, you know, this is Oprah's favorite mac and cheese from, I believe it was uh, Chef Delilah Winder. All right. Uh, but anyway, this is, I couldn't have thought of this. It wouldn't. Anyway, I'm excited. All right, let's get these eggs beat up. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yeah, I think if Oprah loves this, we're probably gonna love it too. I don't know why, I don't know how you couldn't love this. How many eggs do you have in there? That is a dozen eggs. A whole oh dozen. my gosh. Now so. I am gonna stick to the recipe with this. Okay. I did read that if you like your macaroni and cheese just a little more creamy. Yeah. Uh, you can use, you know, try one or two less eggs, maybe like 10 eggs. But oh, uh, wow. you know what, we are going to, I mean, I don't know if you've ever eaten in any of our restaurants, but. Uh, Chef Delilah is, has some, some good food, so I'm not going to tamper with it. Okay, so we've got mozzarella, sharp cheddar, Velveeta, Gruyere, Munster. Extra sharp cheddar. Uh, <laughs> extra sharp cheddar. Asiago. Uh, Am I missing any? <laughs> just that beautiful little nugget of Velveeta right there. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> Is there some Colby Jack in here? I don't know. No, this... no, no Colby Jack. Monterey oh, okay. Jack. Monterey, Monterey Jack. Jack. That's Monterey right. Monterey Jack. We lose track. I don't know. Everybody calls it a seven seven cheese macaroni. But, uh, mac yeah, seven cheese macaroni. But there are clearly eight counting the Velveeta. I don't know. So maybe Velveeta they don't count the Velveeta, counts, which yeah. is completely fair. I think it is about that time. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and... This is going to be crazy. Oh man, this is... Whoa. Wow. All right. wow. All right. And then lastly, we're going to do uh, six cups of half and half. Mm -hmm. So this is 48 ounces. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. All right. The gang is all here. Wow, this is a huge tray. This is a huge tray. All right, All right we're, so we're feeding a lot of people today. Yes, yeah, so we've got a lot of people coming over for a little pool party later this afternoon. And what better to serve than eat <laughs> cheese, mac and cheese. Right, Look this at this cheese mixing. Oh my gosh. This is insane. All right, I'll tell you what, before I get too much further in here. Yeah. I definitely want to, I don't want to forget our seasoning. Okay. We're just going to throw in, you know, it's always seasoned to taste, but we're going to add some salt and pepper in here before we okay. start in the oven. I think that's good. Yum. Do you add any garlic or anything in there? You know, like I said, I'm going to stick with the recipe. Okay. It's, it doesn't have okay. garlic. It seems like a serious omission to me, but I am certainly not one to argue. I know. The caliber 
chef that created this. Right. Or Oprah. I would not argue <laughs> <Or> with her. <laughs> this is right. incredible. This is so crazy. I've never seen anything like this. Let's give this a stir. Oh my goodness. Sure, all this macaroni gets covered, in our, covered in our mixture here so it cooks up nice and tender. Okay, wow, this is gonna be so cool! All right, I think, uh, I think I'm pretty happy with that. I see a pocket of cheddar all the way to the left here. Right there. That one? Yeah. Damn. Wow. This is insane. I wonder if you can taste these different cheeses in the different bites. I don't know. I think you'd have to be a pretty, have a pretty a sophisticated palate. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's go with this. I don't think it's uh, going to get any better. All right. Here we go. We're well, gonna put this in the oven at 325 uh, for about 30, 35 minutes. Okay, cheese. All right, as it's been about 35 minutes, uh, a little bit longer maybe, 30, 37. Oh my um, goodness. But wow, this is looking great. The pasta has cooked perfectly. Um, you know, I. I I let it cook a little bit longer. The recipe says 30 minutes since we didn't pre-cook the pasta. Uh, did a little extra time. So just to finish this off, uh, we're not actually adding more cheese. Uh, we did reserve two cups of the yellow sharp cheddar uh, to make a nice cheesy crust on top of this. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna sprinkle this cheese on. And then we will put it back in and we'll stick it under the broiler for a few minutes, just long enough for this cheese to uh, form a nice uh, crust over top of the macaroni. We're gonna put this baby back in, eh, for probably about five minutes. And we'll be right back for the taste test. See you then. All right, y'all, it's been exactly five minutes and we've got a nice brown top to our mac and cheese. You can cook it a little bit longer if you like a little bit more of a crust on your mac and cheese. This is perfect for us. That looks amazing. It looks so good and I can't wait to try it. Like I said, I've never seen so much cheese in one place, uh -huh. but I have a feeling we're going to be uh, pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by this. Well, I don't know about surprised. Okay. Enough chatter. Oh, that, yeah, you can tell those eggs it just cuts in nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, no. You gonna right. be able to get that big piece on that spatula? I am gonna be able to get every bit. Oh, of my piece. goodness. Look at right. that. <gasps> Man. Whoa. That looks. Amazing. Yes, it smells amazing too. All right, let's see what all the hype is about. All right. Oh wow, you can see all the different cheeses. It's just white and flaky. All right. <laughs> it's really good. Believe the hype. Oprah nailed it. Great job, Chef Delilah. You heard it here first. So good. I can't wait to serve this.